Damn! That's me. How's it going, guys? <gasps> you see that? Yeah. Um, token Vaping here, and today's juice review is the next flavor in an, an ongoing line that I've added into my rotation, and it is from You Got E Juice. Now, I know you guys have seen their Instagram page, you've seen their posts, you've heard about them on social media. Um, they are a company based in Vista, California, and their biggest draw that's uh, getting a lot of uh, notice is not only the amount of flavors that they're offering but the fact of their pricing now if you go to you got e you'll see what I'm talking about and you'll see the price um, as per uh, bottle sizes which they offer a 60 120 and a 240 and I'm um, trust me when you see the pricing for it it's a really good deal I was skeptical at first I'll be straight up honest about it um, I'm, I've always been kind of cautious of companies, you know, that uh, charge a really affordable low price for a, a large bottle of juice. It always makes you kind of wonder. I met um, a couple of the reps at an expo and I got to talk to them a bit, got to see how dedicated and serious they were about the line and why they believe that the quality and of the flavors and the vape is more important than the pricing. And once I tried a couple of the, the flavors and things like that, I, I changed my viewpoint. I really did. Um, they have, if you saw my first video that I've done for this company, um, the first flavor was a strawberry cheesecake. Phenomenal, phenomenal flavor. And you would not really expect it from, I don't want to say cheap, um, because the flavor is by no means that. But for a cheaper priced juice line you would people are under the stigma that the, that the taste or quality of it is going to be cheap as well and that's not the case for this so i definitely had to make the offer and i definitely wanted to uh do a review on some of their other flavors to get the the name out there more and to um promote them a little bit more through my through my videos and things like that now they do only offer a 0, 3, and 6 and a nicotine. So again, they're focusing way more on the flavor quality and the vaping experience than they are how much nicotine you're going to get out of this. And they're also in a 70-30 mix. Now, like I said, my first video that you saw, um, it was on their strawberry cheesecake. So I kind of switched gears a little bit, but I wanted to see if they could do the difference in the flavor and not make them taste the same. So the flavor that I'm doing for this one is their strawberry custard, um, which... If it's not, if it's done, I guess the way that I'm expecting it, it's going to have a very similar taste to the cheesecake. I'm curious to see if they were able to do a difference um, in the flavor to get uh, to get the uniqueness of both flavors out. Now, as you can see, it is a 60 ml bottle, but the cool thing is, is that they also um, they turn around and they do offer. Uh, nozzle tips that go along with the bottle as well so that's actually really really cool um, it's just a little extra thing that they do and it's not anything huge but it's more along the lines of um, you know just saying hey it's not that big of a deal to us here you go it makes things easier so it is a child safety cap so you can basically do this and it won't come off now this is their their label you got e-juice with their logo symbol like that it's simple gets the point across but it still pops on a white label there's the name of the flavor and here's their nicotine now do you see that do you see that surprisingly yes anybody that's watched any of my videos I normally vape a three nicotine this is the only time I have ever requested a zero the reason why even though they do use a Nick select nicotine which is a, another form of nicotine that is uh, supposed to be smoother and more um, more mellow in the vape which you don't really notice it in in the other flavor that I tried, the strawberry cheesecake. It was a lot smoother and there was no throat hit. Um, but I want to see, I want to try their flavor out with no nicotine in it so that it is just a straight flavor vape. Um, that's the only reason why I asked for it. I do have a few other flavors that I'll be doing uh, videos for. They all have nicotine in them. So do not get used to that. That is not uh, normal. Um, website is on the bottom you got ejuice.com and then it does have the warning label that is standard on all of these now and their ingredients as well where it also says that it's a 70 30 so we're gonna go ahead and bust this open this is the first vape first review and as always I have a fresh wick on my device which if you've watched any of my videos you know what's coming 
Texas Tough Cotton. That's my cotton of choice. Um, again, I just really like the way that it works. You know, it's really it's really durable. It holds up really well, as, especially if you don't change flavors out a lot. If you stick to one flavor, um, it just it holds up nicely. And my favorite about it is the fact that on a first vape like this, it does not have a very strong cottony taste to it, and that impresses me. So that's why I stick with them. So we're going to go ahead and bust this open. And all it is is just a simple twist off with, with pressure. And here's the other step. You see that? Do you see that? Safety seal. It's just the attention to detail. I mean, nowadays it's standard on all bottles, but everybody's got a different form that they do or a different level that they do. This literally is just a straight up, you know, straight seal. Now I just have to pop it open without getting juice all over the place. So, and just remember, you know, no matter what, regardless of however I take to this, regardless of however I feel about it, um, this simply is just my opinion. You know, it's not meant to be, I'm not trying to make it law, I'm not trying to impose it on anybody, I'm just trying to let you guys know what I think of the flavor and what it comes off as so that it gives you a little bit better information to go off of to see if it's something you want to try, especially, you know, if it's going to be um, ordering a bunch of different flavors. You want to make sure that they all are going to be somewhat decent. Off the, off the inhale, it definitely does not smell like st the strawberry cheesecake flavor, which is a very good point. It had, Basically, it does smell like a custard. So, here's high hopes for that. So, I have the nozzle put on there. I'm going to go ahead and juice up my cotton here. And we will go from there, and I'm going to hopefully get what I'm expecting to get out of this. And it will be a unique flavor unto the strawberry custard. And I'm hoping that it has the custard flavor more so than a cream, a creamier uh, vape. So we will get to that, and we will see how this goes. So just bear with me here a second. And almost there. Whoops, that's a bit of an overspill. So let me just wipe that off a bit because I don't need fluid going all over the place. Go ahead, do a quick pre burn, as you can see, like that. Just get the juice flowing through the cotton, and then I'll Add a little bit more. And, oops, sorry. I always try to do this on camera because I don't believe in editing. I don't believe in a lot of fancy little camera works. I want you to see everything as I'm doing it so that you know that it's for real and that I'm doing it. And that's what that is. So, I'm going to go ahead and cap this up. And as always, you can tell I'm vaping at 75 watts. So this is strawberry custard from You Got E Juice. And now since I got that started, I'm gonna go ahead and just drip a little bit straight in. As you can definitely see for a 7030, those are some solid clouds. I mean, 7030 is kind of a borderline in between, so you're never really quite sure if you're going to get really dense clouds, or light clouds, things like that. For a 7030 mix, that is a rock solid cloud. Okay. I'm telling you, I said it on the first video. I'm going to say it on this one too. I am very impressed. Absolutely, completely unique flavor unto itself. Now, not unique as it's a completely different flavor, but unique because it definitely is what it's supposed to be. When it says strawberry custard, that is a straight custard flavor. Um, you get the strawberry on the, on the inhale and uh, it follows through a bit. And then as it kind of uh, wears or uh, peters off, so to speak, you get a solid custard undertone. I mean, it is definitely custard. It is not anything else. If you've ever had any type of custard before, you will know for sure that that's what this is. Um, 
I actually still am getting the aftertaste of it on my tongue a, a bit. So the flavor is definitely there. With no nicotine in this, it, this is all flavor, and it is most solid. And you still get that, that slight little tang of a strawberry as if for like fresh strawberries that are used because they definitely have a unique uh, flavor to them. But it is definitely a custard undertone. Absolutely no throat hit, none whatsoever. I feel nothing here. I mean, obviously because there's no nicotine, I'm not gonna feel anything for the most part. However, depending on the type of flavor and depending on uh, the mixture, things like that, you still can tend to feel one. But this is very smooth, it is very enjoyable. The problem I'm gonna have with it is because it is a zero, it's not gonna be something that I can vape long term during the day without it starting to affect me because I do vape nicotine. But as far as just something that I'm just wanting just a blast of a good creamy flavor this most definitely will fit the bill so definitely check it out you got ejuice.com Facebook and Instagram as well guys thank you guys so much for the continued ability and uh, privilege to be able to review your flavors I am impressed so far with the two that I've done I'm hopefully the rest of the flavors are going to be just as rock solid as always guys I'm token vaping I'm here on YouTube Facebook Instagram snapchat and Pinterest anything that I can continue to do to help make your vaping experience that much more enjoyable and to help enhance it for you that's the only reason why I do this so no matter what it is any type of a question if there's a particular video you're wanting to see um, a flavor line that you're curious about let me know I will do everything I can to accommodate that for you but no matter what bottom line bar anything else always remember vape for yourself vape on vape strong and have a good night